Here is another cut surface of a lung, which is easy to recognize because you see 90% of it appears to have these well uh, air-filled alveolar spaces. However, the vascular portions like here, 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 probably the larger pulmonary arteries, as well as smaller blood vessels like here, 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 appear a little bit abnormal. They don't appear to be nice and open. They appear to be filled with something. Well, we know that in a pulmonary embolism, uh, we would expect blood clot to be the main reason for filling a lot of the pulmonary arteries. And perhaps I will agree with you that this is blood clot. However, take a look at this area over here. In this part of the blood clot, we can see something that doesn't look like a blood clot at all. It has dark nuclei. It has perhaps an abnormal mitosis over there. And for all practical purposes, it has all of the microscopic features of being a tumor of some sort. In addition, when you look at the smaller blood vessels, it doesn't appear to have blood clot at all. Uh, it appears to be completely filled by this tumor. And here we have a situation where we see large, irregular, dark nuclei, some of them uh, perhaps having an abnormal or multipolar mitosis. And this is a very, very good classic example of a metastatic carcinoma involving uh, not only the pulmonary arteries, but even some of the smaller pulmonary vessels as well. Um, it really doesn't matter where the tumor came from. And quite frankly, I don't have the foggiest, but it does look like it is a metastatic carcinoma rather than a sarcoma. Thank you very much.